Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great fantastic day. In today's video I am going to be reviewing the Rimmel Kind and Free Moisturising Skin Tint Foundation. Now I heard Soph, who used to be Soph Does Nails, she did talk about this for a while and said it was really really good. Now you know me, I love BB creams, CC creams, I love anything with a light coverage it is just my personal preference so when i heard that rimmel did one i just really really wanted to get around to trying this this is a i wouldn't say it's like a newish product it is newish but it wouldn't say it's old either so it's sort of in the middle but i thought i'd give this a go because this is right up my alley so i'm going to apply this on my face and let you guys know my thoughts about this so if you guys are going to enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by Every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. So if you guys want to know my thoughts on the Rimmel Kind and Free Moisturising Skin Tint Foundation, just keep watching. Okay, so let's try the Rimmel Kind and Free Moisturising Skin Tint Foundation. And I've got the shade 160 Vanilla. Now this retails for $9.99 on the Superdrug website. It says on the back of it, clean nourishing skin tint blurs imperfections and gives skin the nourishment it needs with antioxidants complex, vitamin E and pro vitamin B5. It pretty much just says there's a lot of skin tint properties inside this. So vitamin E, pro vitamin B5. So that's really good. It does come in like a variety of shades as well. Not too many shades, but just a few shades. Because because this is only meant to be like a skin tint. So I know there's not too many shades. The lightest one looked too pale. So this is what the packaging looks like. So it's got blue. And you can see the colour right through the packaging there. I've heard rumours that Rimmel is supposed to be cruelty free. I'm not sure if that's true. But I have heard it is meant to be a cruelty free brand now. If it is, then that's a really, really good thing. Okay, so let's try this on the skin. I've already prepped my skin with an oil. I think I'm going to apply that much. This might have been a bit too much. I'm not sure about the colour. It might be a bit dark. I'm not too sure. Let's blend it out with a sponge. Okay, for a skin tint, that's a, a, that's a very good coverage. It's not a bad shade match either. I would say it's probably just the tiniest, like the littlest bit, too dark. Just a little bit. So I'm going to bring this down to my neck. <laughs> Recently, I've not put any foundation down my nose because I've noticed, which loads of people have said not to do, is it can make your uh, concealer and powder make it go really cakey. They said just apply concealer there and it does work. Okay, so far guys, I'm very, very impressed. This looks so good on my skin. Now, I was gonna build it up, but personally, this is giving me quite enough coverage as it is, and I feel like if I add more, it's just gonna look a bit more cakey on my skin. So I'm not gonna build it up, but it looks really good on my skin. I'm keeping the gaps bare for my concealer, but yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit too dark for me. A little bit too dark. This looks so good on my skin. It's dewy, it's radiant, it doesn't look too heavy. Okay, well, I'm very, very impressed. This is... This looks excellent on my skin. I love the way this looks on my skin. It makes my skin look quite flawless. And personally, I provide, this gives quite a good coverage. For a skin tint, this has got some decent coverage on it. I'm impressed. Like I said, just the shade's just a tiny bit too dark, but a bit of concealer will definitely fix that. Not bad, guys. I like it. I think this is good. Okay, well... I'm going to add concealer and setting powder and I'll show you guys what it looks like with everything set. Alright guys, I've just set my face in place. Now I apologise, please ignore this cakiness here. I was testing out a liquid highlighter so it's, this is not the foundation's fault. But I have set it and for the parts which are not cakey from the liquid highlighter, this has set my face really well with powder. So I really, really like this foundation like here 
it's set really really nicely it's really really nice so yeah i am super impressed with this foundation i'm going to set my face in place and show you guys the final result of the foundation tint okay guys so this is everything all set set down and everything on the foundation i really like it i'll just bring it in closer so you guys can see but yeah i think this is excellent i think this is a great foundation it's it's not caked up or anything just around my nose a little bit but nothing serious so if you're on the market for a really good tinted moisturizer i think this is really good yes i did apply a lot of that tinted moisturizer to my face i did apply a lot of it so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna deny that so yeah if you want a lighter coverage i definitely would say apply just a little bit less a little bit less tinted moisturizer than what i did because i kind of went a bit overboard but if that was with a sponge with a brush that's going to be even more coverage my goodness that's going to be like way full coverage with a brush so i'd say it's got very controllable coverage so if you want like a heavier coverage then you can definitely add more and use a brush but if you want more of a lighter natural coverage definitely use a lighter hand I think next time with this tinted moisturiser, I am going to add a little bit less. But apart from that, I think this is a really good product and I really like it. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and Happy New Year to you guys. We are going to be entering... 2023 how scary i can't believe how quickly this year has gone i've got so many exciting new things to be adding to my channel next year which i'm really really excited about so i want to wish you guys a safe happy new year looking forward to seeing you guys in the new year and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys take care